What's going on, everybody? It's Ricker. It's Bon. A whole lot of fun stuff to dig your ears into and your butthole. How come you don't want me, man? You know that new fact that you're looking for? If you want to keep going, I will keep going tonight. What's up? <laughs> that was a really smooth intro. Yeah, you know, it got me pumped up, dude. I like that album. That I was found, like found out about an album from well, you know, it's also, you know, credit to the Alchemist, the producer. But I found a, an Alchemist currency album from twenty eleven, but uploaded in twenty twenty one. So I thought it was from twenty twenty one. Wasn't from twenty twenty one, twenty eleven. But great album. That almost made me feel like I was on a real radio show. It's what it is, dude. It's what it is. Suck on that universal. Maybe it's the sunglasses and you the, look like you're Tom Cruise on top flight or whatever it's called. Really? Cause I feel like I'm on top of the world in these glasses. Oh yeah. Shout out target $10 sunglasses or maybe H and M one of those places. It seems a little pricey. $10. $10? Give me the six. Give me a seven, dude. What? $10 is great. Sunglasses <laughs> are like 70 bucks. Just crazy. Real I know one. a skater that like, uh, like pro skater that runs a, a glasses company now and they seem About to be in business bucks. so you know and i'm sure that the uh materials for glasses aren't that crazy are really. you ready for uh apple glasses yeah i was i was i was sitting out by the pond <laughs> i don't have a pond i was sitting out by the lake i don't have a lake either i was sitting outside and i was i was like reading my I was, I was sitting outside by a uh, a puddle of piss next to some homeless man. And I was reading my Apple iPhone uh, in an article on my, my Apple iPhone <laughs> made by Apple called the iPhone. And I was like, man, Apple can't wait until like, I can just like look up and then there's the pages, man. That's f- at, at mo- like five to seven at most years away. Uh, I think sooner. I'm, I'm, I think, I'm, getting, uh, I'm getting a little conservative, you know, but you know, I'm, Apple sometimes apples it up. So, dude, these these uh, chip shortages are a thing I've been reading about. Taiwan, dude. China, man. Lithium, yeah. bro. Apple's going to get some glasses or what? Oh, yeah. And they're going to be like, you see how thin these glasses are? Not they're going to be like really. that. They're not going to be like, I don't know if you remember Google Glass, but they're pretty chunky. No snap lenses? Uh, I'm not sure how the lenses will be. I think I mean, it's going to be like Snapchat glasses is what I meant. Uh, no, no, no. It's not going to be like that. They're, I doubt they're going to have a camera on the front. I think just it's just. Allow me to read, Tim. Just give me a Kindle on my glasses, bro. I'll buy your $400 glasses, man. You know, I don't even think it's going to be that. I think it's just going to be like the Apple Watch where it's just stuff, like little stuff. Just give me. And then all the main stuff is on your phone. So it's like an accessory. So it doesn't replace uh, your phone. So it's like you're walking around. You always have the time right there. You always have yeah. the weather. You like if you need directions, like it tells you where to go. Give me a, maybe just like give me an article to read, bro. Just allow me to go on read review available on Safari on the iPhone. Been utilizing that, dude. Enjoy it. Shout out. Seems like HTML. I don't know. Maybe a little Javi in there. Maybe it will be like. Would you like to throw this article onto your oh, please. Google Glass? Yeah, I'll, I'll Google buy Glass. your four hundred dollars. And then it'll probably be like, oh, it 
Apple Glass notices you're walking. You have to sit down for to read this or something. The hell is up, Osiris? What's going on, dude? <laughs> um, Jeez. Yeah, I just want to read stuff through my eyes instead of my hand. You know, that's all I want. I'll pay some money for that. Yeah, and I, everyone's just going to be walking around with glasses in the future. Yeah, glasses are cool, man, until they get chips in your brain. And then you'll be reading through your neuro, dude. Dude, that yeah. Taiwan thing's interesting. I got put onto a, a YouTube video about chips and mm -hmm. uh, chip shortages. Pretty interesting, man. Apparently, it all goes through Taiwan. Taiwan's next to China, but it's an independent government. And China's like, yo, dude, y'all better act correct or we're going to come in there and China it up, get you all your semiconductor chips. It's mm -hmm. pretty interesting, man. So everything's made, apparently, chips. Oh, yeah. Not financial advice, but NVIDIA is the company that makes all the chips for self-driving cars. So, And they've been doing really well the past year. It is quite the stock pick. It's pretty expensive right now, but NVIDIA is the one. Be. I wonder, like if Apple, when they're, apparently they're having a bunch of problems with their car. Um, mm -hmm. Apparently a bunch of executives left, top executives that were on that project. They've been hmm. fucking around with that project for like 10 years, I feel like. But um, yeah, <laughs> I, I wonder long. what kind of chips they'll use. I wonder if they'll make their own chips. Well, I mean, yeah, you went, they went away from Intel. Apparently you got Qualcomm, Intel, and then Taiwan Semiconductor Company as your big three. And then Taiwan is your, your big one. And the other ones are kind of lagging. Yeah. So you saw Apple go away from Intel into their own thing. But I think don't know but i'm somewhat assuming with a little bit of context that they're using taiwan stuff um maybe qualcomm is taiwan no qualcomm is an american company i believe but it, that's a separate company it's top three is qualcomm tsc taiwan semiconductor company and intel oh yeah tsc they were using them for a second i don't know if they still are pretty sure they are from a, a memory I'm trying to reach back into from watching a video. You should get Ooh, Alexander yeah. on the phone to, uh, I, bro, I was finna, I was finna hit him up. Dude. I was like, Hey man, what, what, what are you legally allowed to tell me? Were you like chips, bro? You like lithium? What's going on, man? You know, the thing is he works for, he works for Apple, but I'm always like, dude, this is coming out. And he's like, no way. And then it comes out. <laughs> So I was literally telling him yesterday, I was like, bro, so uh, September, are you ready for the Apple Watch Series 7 with a fingerprint radio on the side? And he's like, bro, what the fuck is the point of that? That's, there's no point to that. And I'm like, uh, so you don't have to type in a passcode like a caveman when you take off your watch? And he's like, oh, I guess that makes sense. Mm. He's doing coding? Yeah. Maybe he's just so micro-focused on whatever task. He's like, I don't care. Yeah, he only works for like one specific part of the software, so... Is he that much of an Apple fanboy, though? Yeah, yeah, actually. And like, but I don't know. He's like, he's like an Apple fanboy of stuff that's out right now. And I'm an Apple sure. fanboy of stuff that's coming out. And then once it's out, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just cool, like, whatever. cool, cool. Yeah, sell, sell the news by the rumor. I was so pumped when AirPods were going to come out. I was like, bro, this is the one. I have to be the first to get this. I have to. It was so hard to get. And I was almost the first until I saw that Asian kid at the gym the january they came out and i was like fuck but i was the second one to get them for sure i saw an air pod uh lonely on the floor of a sidewalk and uh i just i don't know think that about sucks because those recycling. things can't recycle can't be recycled no that plastic takes like a thousand years to degrade or something do they have a little send back program apple yeah they do but like what is apple gonna do with it they like can't melt it down and they can't like because the battery they can't like repurpose it or some shit so it's literally the worst thing for the environment is airpods and they only last like two years well that seems a little bit negligible yeah it's real bad they should Fair. fix that negligible not especially caring. since they're trying to be like a hundred percent renewable that's very really the opposite of renewable yeah can't renew it can't renew it maybe like make the battery replaceable or something i don't know Maybe they're working they on it. And they they're like, hey, that. eco AirPods. Maybe they they were like, hey, man, we let's, uh, let's get a little green rollout six years from now. And we're like, yeah, let's do it. 
I was thinking, why doesn't Amazon say, leave your boxes like on your porch and we'll come get them and use them for other packages? I think they might have some kind of, a lot of people have like programs. Like I had a, I, I got a Brita and I was like, yo, can I like recycle these things? And it's just, it's a whole lot of friction to do some, some good eco-friendly stuff. And they're like, hey, work. wait till you got five, five pounds of, of Brita waste. I'm like, I don't really have five pounds of your British stuff to like wait in the trash bag for like a year. I'm going to yeah. get like moldy British stuff. You got to sign up for a random website and then like it sends you there. I'm sure Brit is not the most technology cognizant consumer friendly business, but it's like, come on, you guys give no fucks. I really need a new filter. I've been drinking from the sink. Uh, I was reading about tap water health and specifically San Diego, but a lot of people were like, yeah, this not the best water ever there, homeboy. I bet I live in downtown LA. It's probably rat shit in that water and stuff. Like maybe. Oh god. I got the the blue filter that lasts longer <laughs> and is advertised saying, Hey, this is better than the other filter. That other filter they're they're chugging down pee over there. You got the blue filter, bro. It's like god damn, I just want water. Yeah, water's going to be a scarce, scarce commodity. I, th I think there's a California drought going up again. There's been drought here since I've been alive, dude. Can we just recall the fuck out of Newsom? I don't know if he's like, he probably doesn't cause the drought. <laughs> Weather causes the drought, but like, fuck Newsom, dude. I was out the other day and I met some people from Florida and they were like, yeah, we should have stayed in Florida because this place sucks. Everything's oh. closed. I'm just like, the yeah, I'm Western sorry. drought. Let's go, little business insider, bro. Oh, I hope that didn't screw up my recording. Oopsie. Dang, it probably did. Oh, shit. Uh, well, you're going to be in a big screen for any of those clips. California drought could have devastating consequences for the state's agriculture, wildlife, notifications and tourism industry because everybody's trying to see this reservoir bring your own water if you come here this story is from this edition of morning brew oh dude can i get a reader view on this or no read you reviews can, awesome forgot I how to do it. it i think you might need a plug-in oh, oh this is also chrome oh hold on just a little Brief intermission, and then I'll do a nice little intro again. Oh, dude. oh man, I might have to go to Safari. Yeah, but then there's going to be or ad you, walls. Or you could just read it. But like, read your view, bro. It's awesome. Yeah, I don't see, I don't see any. I ads. know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, but like, come on, look at that. You oh, just poop. discovered reader view. Yeah, a little bit. Well, because I, I didn't read a lot of stuff on my phone. And like uh, I was screen recording some of it. And it's just like ads for eToro and stuff. So I'm like, get this out of here. California drought. You ever heard of water, Bonjen? Yeah, I have, unfortunately. Drink it? Not enough, for sure. Really? Yeah. <laughs> didn't very... you just get all creatine? <laughs> Bro, I do not drink enough water. Guaranteed. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, you I might. Just I just. I'm not that kind of guy to carry a gallon around with me. No, I think that's unnecessary. Maybe with creatine it might be a little necessary, but I remember, uh, you know, your liver. It's a little much, dude. Your liver does it all. Like I said, I watched one little TikTok on a liver, and I learned one thing. And now I say, hey, man, it's just like a little balance. You don't need to overbalance your liver. I did so much research, not so much, but a lot. I was trying really hard to see <laughs> what's the worst thing that can happen by just taking creatine and everyone just said you just get dehydrated unless that, like you have unless you have this rare disease that like makes your liver fail or something hmm. i'm just like okay well like the doctors are like yeah it's not a big deal dehydration sucks that skin sucks, but i can control that like i can fucking just drink more water maybe california drought could have devastating consequences for the state's agriculture Agriculture, wildlife preservation, and tourism industries. Chick-fil-A sauce and semiconductors are important for a function. That, what is that intro? What, dude? What? <laughs> I like, I mean, I, I get it. The latest shortage hitting the American West water this year's historic drought in the West could affect literally everything. 
Newsom has put 41 counties under a state of emergency in an attempt to drastically limit water use. Some scientists say the region is facing the worst drought in centuries. Water levels of 1,500 plus reservoirs in California are 50% lower than normal at this time of the year. Per Jay Lund, co-director of the Center of the Watershed Sciences at UC Davie. Mm. Huge cuts to the water that farmers in the states use to produce over 25% of the country's food supply. Uh, affects fish, bro. Electricity. How does it affect electricity? Anyone who uses electricity, so everyone. Officials are predicting that the level of Lake Oroville, the beyond sale. Dude, this, this author's going in, dude. What do you got? Is, who this, you? Real? Is this a real article? Marty Marriott, bro, of the morning I, I, morning brew. You might have to get a little more email blasty. So I oh, get morning that. brew. Someone told me to sign up for that, and I was like, eh. it's good. Info. I like the info. A little, I, I have it. I, I don't read it though. It's a lot of the emails thing. He kind of lose traction for. Uh, record low in August for a lake. If that happens, they would need to shut down a major hydroelectric electric power plant, putting extra strain on the electric grid during the hottest part of the summer. Oh, that's dope for fires. Gonna be a sick one. Fish, everybody likes fish. Does does fish have a very big economic impact besides salmon eating? Besides I really like salmon dude. ruining the environment. It's what? you know, it's like that's funny. It's they mention the environment's ruined with the drought, and it's also <laughs> going to ruin Something that also ruins the environment, which is the, fishing. The things that we're ruining the environment with are going to be ruined by the environment. You know it's saying? almost as if they're saying, "Hey, the Earth is self-correcting." <laughs> it's like, "Hey, guys, let's do a little liver balance here." You guys, yeah, it's on almost as if, like, "Yo, I got <laughs> drunk last night. Let me fucking flush out my system." A little leverage happening. Let's pull the levers, yeah, uh, <laughs> dude. I like this morning brew text, man. I can't lie. Anyone who dislikes wildfires is not going to enjoy a drought, dude. You know who doesn't dislike wildfires? Uh, the double oh, negative is kind of annoying, but anyone who dislikes wildfire. I, I dislike. can't think of anyone that likes wildfires. Not even any animal. Arsonists. Arsonists. arsonists you, don't, you don't think yeah. arsonists are like, shit, this is They're like, yeah, this is a little oh, big. Fuck. I didn't mean it to get this I'm just, big. I'm just trying to do like a, like a sewage plan or something, dude. Like, I'm not talking about half a state here. My biggest fear is starting a wildfire. <laughs> I'm Bro, not, I remember. I'm not in the, the wilderness enough to do that. I remember uh, I was a freshman in college and I went back home to chill with my friends. And this was like the event that was like, Bro, I'm not chilling with these guys anymore. Or like some of them. Like they're fucking just. Pl- they had like a, a, a back house and they had a fire pit and they brought the fire pit into the house and they were like throwing like water bottles in the fire pit. And the fire was just fucking going crazy in the little shack. So, and to make matters worse, the shack was like surrounded by brush and trees off the side of like a mountain. So it's like, okay, I'm leaving right now. I'm not <laughs> yeah, going to this. Uh... This is like, this is literally going to destroy the, <laughs> the state once it gets yeah. out of hand. Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to be hit with a $60 million fine. They got fines. <laughs> yeah, they got fines. But they usually they got... just reduce it to a lifetime of community service. Oh, hey, man, you know, you're helping out, you know? Imagine being 70 and you're just like, dude, I'm still doing community service for something I did when I was 19. Lifetime community service, man. Yeah. Just Fuck do that, that for a lot of felons, dude. Huh? Non-violent felony, dude? Lifetime. Non-violent felony, except like, you know, the possibility of ruining lots and lots of land, ruining lots of people's homes, no, I'm saying uh, health. A too. long tenure of community service for for pretty hefty but non-violent crimes. Do like three hours every week for the rest of your life. Pretty pretty uh pretty dire there, but you know. Low key, I don't know. I kind of feel like they might have that already. Probably. Three hours like cause you know you're like, all right, three hours a week within like rest of your life, dude. It's long could be a long time. Definitely need more community service in LA because like the streets are pretty dirty. I'm sure there's a, there's a lot of prisons going around, dude. You can do a little, a little sixth, uh, the one amendment in the Constitution that legalizes slavery with prison. Do some uh, little jobs, dude. What pay city him, was it that during COVID, their solution to stopping COVID in the prison was set the prisoners free? 
and then sure. murder went up like 60 percent i think it was chicago they or maybe it was seattle and felons they were just i think it was like all of them they released prisoners they released people in prison yes oh really yeah there were definitely some hikes and murders i, I recall i think it was chicago COVID release prisoners Uh, 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 uh. Hold March twenty fifth. We're just confirming. March twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. This year is when Chicago Sun Times put out this article with the lovely writing of, of Sophie Sherry. And let me just hop into reader view here. Oh, dude, sick. Wait, before you hop in, let's take a break. Okay. There's crispy. Sure. You know, I did see you a little bit, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, you know, just practicing the dialect a little bit. Of what? <laughs> I don't know. Language is just sounds. Yeah, pretty amazing. I can talk about that after. You talk about more than 1,000 Illinois prisoners to be released under COVID-19 lawsuit. This is March 25th, 2021. P recent. I would also like to point out that it's the middle of the year, 2021. Kind of cool. Whoa. <laughs> you know, know, before we hop into this article, yeah, you know please. what fucking trips me out? Yeah. January was not that long ago. Not that long ago. You know, it was six months ago. It was six months ago. Yeah, but in the grand scheme of things, it was kind of like, kind of like yesterday, kind of. Uh, time goes at the same pace, kind of. But like, actually, well, I, I have relatively a theory. not because I the older so. you get, the faster it goes. But is it? Why is that a thing? It's because it doesn't. Because when you're one years old, six months is half your life, and six months now well, is exponential like exponential principle. A forty so eighth of my life. I don't know. I can't math, but and that's why for my parents, six months is like fifteen minutes. Hmm. That's why they say, "Oh, you're growing up so fast." The no, more I grow up you... fast to you, I'm growing up slow for me. The more life you experience, the slower it becomes. The faster because it becomes. The faster it becomes because you've already experienced more. There's probably some physics behind that that I want to dive into. I think, no, it's just like, I think you're overcomplicating it. Okay. Undercomplicating like, it. So, like, you're 10 years old, right? Five years is half your life. That's a long time. Half your life is a long time. Uh -huh. But for you, 24, 25 years old, five years is what, a quart, a fifth of your life? Mm -hmm. So even though it's the same amount of time, it went by faster for you because it's a shorter amount of time of your life. So half your life would be what, like 12 years? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then 12 years to your mom is like 12, 24, 36, 48, like a fifth of her life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shorter. And then, you know, and then that's why super old people are like, I remember yesterday, it was like yesterday in the 90s or 20 years ago. That's why they're so comfortable with saying, do you remember 30 years ago? Yeah. Just, the, I, I, there's some physics behind there though, that I'm interested in. And I'm just like, yeah, you know, I don't remember 30 years ago because that's like almost my entire life. A little fractal in there. Something. But for you, um, fucking Warren Buffett, it's literally a 30 year life. It's Buffett, crazy. dude. That's crazy. What were we talking about? Prisoners? Yeah. How do we get into that? COVID and uh, community service. That's the thing, too, for kids. COVID's probably seems like a lot longer. <laughs> you know, especially for like a 10 year old, COVID was probably a fucking century. So, is that, remember uh, swine flu? 
Swine flu was like, wasn't that like a, what, like a couple months? Swine flu had like no effect on my life at all. Blogs, Scientific American. Let me just dive in because it's interesting. Yeah, and I can just get in this reader view. Why does time fly as we get older? From your boy, <laughs> Jordan Gaines Lewis in 2013. Oh, you're getting a little, you're getting a little fancy on me, Jordan. Can you just give me some science, eh? Um... Okay, this is a little more in depth than I can TikTok on the YouTube. Dude, you should make a TikTok about this. And then see, I love it when they use the green screen thing and they point to something behind them. <laughs> That's the fucking wave right now. If we were back when I was doing YouTube and I used to do green screen <laughs> stuff, if anybody were to have green screen effects that bad, they would be clowned on in the comments. <laughs> and now it's like oh, hip, hip to have just shitty green screen effects. Oh, China. And it's like the shittier, the better. We gauge time by memorable events. This is actually a nice little breakdown. Uh, what, what's the guy's name? Jordan for TikTok. Made in 2013. Didn't have no idea that someone on a social media app would love the way he broke it down into numbers some hey, years TikTok, later. Do you want to know why your shit smells so bad? Well, according to this article, <laughs> you're not eating enough fruit. You gauge time by memorable events, measuring past intervals of time by the number of events that can be recalled in that period. 40-something-year-old mom experiencing the repetitive, stressful daily grind work and family life. The abundant memories of her high school years may, compared to now, seem like much longer than mere four years they were. So this is saying that it seems longer to older people because of monotony. The amount of time passed relative to one age varies. For a five-year-old ego, one year is 20% of their life. For a 50-year-old, one year is 2% of their life. Ratio theory proposed by Janet, dude, 1877. Shout out. Shout out, Janet. Suggests that we are constantly comparing time intervals with the total amount of time we've already lived. 2% of your life is one year to a 50-year-old. I hate when I hand my ID to get alcohol. How they look at it for a millisecond and know I'm 21. Cause they know yeah. they're just looking at the 19. The 19. Fuck. Hey. <laughs> I'm old. With aging may come the slowing of some sort of internal pacemaker relative to the unstoppable clocks and calendars. External time suddenly appears to pass more quickly. Hey, you just going to give me like a sentence on that of like, give me what do you got some like, what's the internal biological clock? What is your biggest... Okay. What are you most excited for or what are you most afraid of, of getting old? Um, probably, because like I'm not super afraid of death just because it's not my face. I'm sure if it's I'm faced with it, I'll be, uh, get a little biological scares in there. Um, probably just security, financially. Probably afraid of, yeah, not having enough. Oh, I see. Um, it's just as future rolls out and, and the world unravels and stuff. Um, but other than that, you know, that's kind of the only pessimistic thing that is on a seesaw of optimism. Just because I think future stuff's cool. I, I just I don't, I'm not afraid of much stuff. I am I kind of worried just about like international relations <laughs> and and how that might affect my life. But other than yeah. that, it's not like uh, that's just being scared of how the present might unravel. I feel I'm just afraid of like getting sick or some shit. Yeah, dude. I because I, the last time I was like super sick, and I was kind of thinking of it during like COVID stuff. And that's why it's. I kind of said, like, I'm not scared of death until it's, like, in your face. Just because, like, yeah. w when you're, like, sick, sick, dude, it sucks. Yeah, you can have, like, a family and shit. And your doctor could be like, yeah, Yo, you got six months, bro. And I'm just yeah. like, whoa. Well, that, like, yeah. yeah. That's kind of, that goes in with security as well. It's kind of, like, yeah. the, the main pillar of human need. But, yeah, kidding, this sucks, dude. Like, well, yeah. he health is something that kind of scared of not having will i gotta uh, i like i take care of like half my health in terms of like being active but i could definitely eat better 
and drink less mm. and smoke less. Mm. Do a little stretch every now and then. I could definitely stretch more too, for sure. Got to, <laughs> got to. Yeah. Dude, fuck- my Nick, fucking dude. excuse is like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking young. I can do all this oh, shit. No. But until you try no. to stretch one time, you're like, hey man, whoa, hey, hold man. up, I can't <laughs> stretch, bro. What's back going on? What's going on, dude? Um, okay. yeah, kind of just. <laughs> international stuff's crazy right now because it's like it's kind of at a pivotal point in the world it seems and yeah on a macro a micro scale it doesn't really seem that way um and you know as time progresses it's gonna like once you're in it it just seems kind of normal but i can't wait until my kids are smarter than me and i can ask them shit about what's going on oh they're just throwing down dude <laughs> It's like, yo, what the, and the fuck is this going they're on? They're like, yo, do, do your research, pops. And I'm like, oh, come on, dude. I already put in six hours. This kid's putting in the seven, dude. What does she mean? My 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 children, my seed, my lineage. What do you mean she? What? She. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's already. Those, those kids. That, uh, like, I was like, oh, stuff. dad, it's she, 2040. Uh, that's already kind of over, bro. Thank God. As soon as I saw like a nine-year-old white kid doing it. And I was like, All right, that, was, that was fun. <laughs> that's kind of What's the next. That's, that's you're towards the, the peak. That's there. when you know when the peak was fucking months ago. <laughs> of sheesh. This is, this is the fall. Mm. Well, you know, that's the, 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 the trough. You're thinking of the ascent, you know, the, the good stuff. What's the next, what's the, what's the summer fucking trend? Drake looking at you, bro. Drop no. certified lover boy so we can fuck. Drake him. has never made a TikTok trend. Are you, you seen kidding a, me? A Drake TikTok trend? He arguably made the first TikTok trend. Do you remember when all those girls were fucking ghost riding the whip? Kiki, do you love me? Uh, like two years ago. He also did another one, didn't he? He had a song. Yeah, fucking uh, Harlem, not Harlem Shake. <laughs> it was the, what was that one? Uh, in in his house, right? Yeah, the dance. Yeah, something step. Hmm. I don't dude, know. See, that seems so long ago, dude. TikTok's going boom, boom, boom. Dude, TikTok is fucking nasty. Did I tell you that I was at work and there was a fucking literally a production? Like they could have been filming a full on commercial for Disney. And I was like, yo, what are they filming here? And the security guard's like, oh, they're filming some kids' TikToks. Mm. I was like, wow. This is it. China, man. China. China, man. China. But, you know, here's the thing. I know all that production stuff is like the American side of things. America's just like, hey, China, we need money for this. And they're like, okay. What? What? TikTok has like an American marketing team that does like a bunch of productions and influencer outreach and stuff. Mm -hmm. I doubt there's a guy in China that's like calling up 19 year olds like, hey. You need Not, money? Uh, I'm saying the app, dude. The app. Oh yeah, the app is fucking. Even just that as a entity in itself shows you a little bit of a little uh, competitiveness overseas, which is something. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do about it, America? Make something better. Mark. Man. man Americans man. have lost faith in Mark. He can't make anything. Mark or is never like, I feel liked. safe using this. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Because it's, like, it's definitely, I mean, it's probably the same amount of wild unprivacy on TikTok as there is on Facebook. Because realistically, do you use Instagram because it's a good app or do you use Instagram because that's where everyone is? I mean, chicken or the egg, you know? That's where the, that's where the eyeballs are. Because I think Instagram is cluttered as hell. I think it's a terrible app. Mm. I think Snapchat's even worse. Snapchat is very full of friction when it comes to like a commercial use of it in my eyes because i'm very like user oriented of it snapchat's just a dirty billboard yeah a dirty dirty billboard it's a, crazy, it's a cash cow it's no longer about the product i mean <laughs> yeah you gotta balance the mental maneuvering there um Biden, I think, upheld a lot of the the China bans on some companies that were in the last Trump administration as well. That's interesting, bro. They don't like it. Oh, okay. Um, 
Yeah, let's do that too. There is a, you ever heard of El Salvador? El Salvador, yeah, the country. Yep, dude. Papooses, you ever, you like them? Uh, they're all right. You know, you know, a uh, cool flag, a nice rich blue. Yeah. Um, Popping communities in, in LA. El Salvador, the, the prez, the head honcho, was down in Miami doing a little thing because they had a Bitcoin conference apparently in Miami. That seemed a lot less cut and dry and, and useful than other conferences I've seen. It seemed culty. Yeah. I, I haven't seen a lot of the clips or like tried to dive into like good stuff, but the other conference that I've seen was from Coindesk and they were all digital and it's like you're not placating to a bunch of I, first of all, I don't even know who threw the Miami conference. Yeah, it's just a bunch of people that got rich off Bitcoin in 2011 patting themselves on the back. Was it? Yeah, like Let a bunch of see. millionaires, billionaires. Oh, I'll do it later. Yeah, but... It, a couple of Ethereum nerds. Coindesk was like, yo, dude, this is all the cool stuff that will happen and is happening and let's talk about how it's made and how you can use it. And then the one thing I've seen from Miami is a dude yelling, like, what are you doing? Yeah, it was like fucking... Was like but on steroids. man's at the Miami conference, the president of El Salvador, Nayib Bukuli, announced that he's proposing a bill that wants El Salvador to become the first country to formally accept a well-known cryptocurrency as a reserve currency. They're trying to make Bitcoin a legal tender over there in El Salvi, man. Interesting. Government would team with the digital wallet firm Strike to build a financial framework around the digital monetary format. Uh, what is El Salvador's like economic stuff? Yeah, not great. I think they he the proposed over there. Oh, I don't know what the political thing is, but the economics apparently aren't great because the president said that um, that their their banks are doing a great job of trying to pull their levers. Um, Twenty percent of migrants represent. El Salvador's gross domestic product, Bitcoin, the currencies, likely to pass when Bukili's party controls El Salvador's legislative assembly. So man's got, man's got his squad behind him ready to, to sign some Spanish, Spanish. So wait, is their current currency going to be backed by Bitcoin? They have a fiat and I believe this will just have Bitcoin as a reserve currency. So okay. they're going classic, you know, hard money to claim <laughs> to fiat back to try to get some hard money because they probably have over amount of leverage in we should just go fiat. back to trading seashells. Hard money, dude. Let's get it, bro. Fuck it, dude. We should go back to trading our wives and daughters. Bitcoin and every <laughs> land. Cryptocurrencies can make those transfers more practical and immediate. Significant gamble, yeah, a little bit, dude. Um, merely launching crypto payments also isn't a guarantee of success. Venezuela hasn't gone far with its petro currency, although it was mainly intended as an end run around international sections. It's also tied to oil, which has its own volatility thanks to COVID. There was another site that I want to go to instead called Crypto Potato. <laughs> wow. Uh, but they had a little bit of why the president wanted to do it. Uh, let me get out of this reading view, dude. Get out of that reading view, bro. Uh, and then you're right back into it. So, yeah, dude, just get right, dude. These, these young kids writing. Mandy Williams, thanks. You're probably 34. Uh, Nayib spoke at a Bitcoin 2021 event. According to a video broadcast, that he would send the bill to Congress Next week, the bill pushes through, will become the first sovereign nation in El Salvador to adopt Bitcoin as a legal tender alongside a fiat currency. Uh, Bukele, the president, believes that the central banks are increasingly taking actions that can negatively impact the economic stability of El Salvador. He further added that in the short term, the move would create jobs and help provide financial inclusion to thousands of people in the country. El Salvador's central bank will also adopt Bitcoin as a part of its reserves, 
while citizens will be allowed to freely transact with the primary cryptocurrency. Partnered with a wallet company, did not provide details about how the wallet will be made. Um, yeah, dude, just another thrashing attack on the U.S. dollar, making China and whoever made Bitcoin just super happy, probably. Can someone make a wallet that doesn't suck? What do you need? I want a wallet where you can trade every coin on every chain. You can convert in the wallet. You can browse the decentralized web. Minimize. Um, I think that's it. I think <laughs> I actually just described Coinbase wallet, actually. Except I don't know if they Metamask. hold Binance coin. MetaMask sucks because it doesn't always show you your balance in terms of USD. And also, you need to manually add the coins by pasting in the contract, which is bullshit. Rainbow is pretty good, but it is really clunky and crashes often. But, you know, we're in the fucking early days, so I'm sure someone's developing something. That's going to be bought by Apple and then made even better. Apple getting that digital wallet, dude. I've been looking at this wallet called um, Jiro. Call it, call it, call it, man. Call <laughs> so it, like, what? Spiro, Spiro Hero? No, Jiro, it's a... Um, it's a Cardano wallet, actually. And I think it's also going to hold Ethereum coins. And they had a token, which I bought at the high, of course, because I'm me. Um, so I'm just holding a bag of shit right now. But once the wallet like comes out, hopefully it'll go up. But yeah, it's, uh, it's so, called Jira. It looks pretty cool. Who produced it? Uh, that's a good question. Let me 20s, see. 20s, 20s. We are at, yeah. Okay. Euro wallet. Your key to DeFi. Take we a break at, and then let's get back into Hero Euros. Me too. Sure. Um, so he makes this gyro wallet. I think it's like a like a gyroscope type of thing is how I would pronounce it. Safari. Can you you can't read or read or view a search result? Come on. Cafe Come on, Press, man. I believe. Come on. This isn't it. No. This is it. Test dot. I want to say gyro because I feel like gyroscope's a thing. Dot finance load time horrible. Are you just are you hacking me right now? What's going on? Yeah, okay. That was weird. Why is your first thing? Hold on. I don't think that's the thing. It's G E R O. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, then, hey, let's look into this. New all weather stable coin based on revolutionary new designs. Yeah, it's not it at all. The team. Araya clogs moot economic design solidity dev gotta get that solid dude smart contracts DeFi researcher with influential track record including predicting black thursday type crises and die well phd at cornell bloomberg fellow and you got daniel perez full stack dev software engineer with 10 plus years of experience in open source advocate with over 3,000 github stars come on now Currently, Daniel's finishing up his PhD at Imperial College London, where his research is on the security of blockchain systems and applications. What's this? Google Scholar? Oh, cool. Oh, you got some articles? Sick. And Louis Gugin, computer science PhD candidate. Other guys get their PhDs already. Imperial College of London, prior to his work, economics consultant. What do you guys do here, eh? Can I not subscribe? Is there an X I can click? No. Team, blog, learn, stablecoin. I don't know. Stablecoin makes me real, uh, makes my loins tickle. Not really. I'm looking for a stablecoin. I'll dare do that right now, Gyro. Yeah, me either. I'm looking for a wallet. <laughs> Timeline, dude. 2020, uh, ideation. First fall in the test net. Balance or grant. That's pretty interesting. White paper, alpha, Giro wallet. You're a master 
key to DeFi and 10x leverage, dude. Bet it all. I bet it all and I lost it all. Your master key to DeFi. Effortlessly buy, store, send, receive, swap any asset. All within Hero Wallet. It's not Get a Hero light paper. Your key to DeFi, one stop access, user experience built on Cardano, interchain, and multi chain compatibility. What chains are we talking about here? Reliably stable. 500 million supply of their token Hero. Roadmap Q2 2021. They want to launch IDO D being what's the D Dex? Maybe uh, I think that already happened. Marketing I, campaign sure. token distribution distributed into Bonjen's wallet already. Swap cross chain staking. Yeah, I lost about a thousand on that so far. So now I'm just holding. Uh, yeah, when that Cardano blockchain launches, that'll be very fun. Q3 integration into the Cardano blockchain. Q4 2021 flat on off fiat, excuse, on off ramp. C swap liquidity integration, hardware wallet, phase one. 2022 in the future, lending futures contracts, synthetic assets, securities. The team, bro. You got Sean, you got Panos. Yafi, Gustus, Chris, Gene, Advisors, CEO of Card Starter, Atash, Senior Operations of Card Starter, Ashwin, Brandon, Card Starter. It seems like we got some Card Starter influence in here. Um, 2021, Medium, Telegram, Twitter. Twitter's popping? How do I get involved? Careers. I don't know if I have the capabilities to dev your wallet there, Jiro. Co-founder, Sean and Panos. Sean has a master's of science with a background in applied psych psychological research. I kind of like that personally. As well as a professional UX experience working on Cypher, Google, and NASA. In 2015, he discovered Bitcoin mining. Since then, he has contributed to the crypto community by combining his psychology background, user experience, expertise, and passion of blockchain today. Sean is focused on bringing decentralized finance to the masses for both new users and experts. You do seem to be just like a UX guy. Media, Panos' background, started in the medical field, was bridged into crypto 2017, started making connections in the DeFi space with the vision of generating utilities that are practical and easy for all levels of, levels of users. Passionate about translating technical underpinnings of DeFi to language more accessible to the daily user with the ultimate goal of advancing mainstream adoption of cryptocurrency. Uh, yeah, us. damn, that's a lot of people, and I don't like reading all their life stories. What are you developing here, Costas? Domain. Gene. Seven years full stack. Hmm. Okay, Jiro. I've already seen your things. Tokenomics. Private token sale, 36%. Ecosystem and community awards, 30%. Team and developers, 20%. I feel like that's DEX. Initial DEX offering, token sale. 7%. Initial quality, 4%. Sick, dude. There's zero wallet, everybody. No more pub less. Um, did I have anything else? Don't be high like it, me. You got anything you want to talk about? Uh, I have one think. more economic thing that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I don't have anything. What do you got? Russia. You ever heard of them? Never. Their country to the left or to the right. Actually, if you go either way, you'll, you'll end up there eventually. Oh, you might have to go up or down a little bit, but. Russia cuts U.S. dollar holdings in 119 billion wealth fund to zero. Just a whole big bill, just to nothing, dude. Where's it going? Someone said that they were uh, concerned that the U.S. has more bonds than any other country. Yeah, a whole lot of bonds, dude. A lot of U.S. loves are like, credit. Uh, U.S. dollar sucks. That's uh, they're 
buying up all the bonds to try to get some credit into the economic system. And it's just taking shellacking over shellacking, dude. You got Bitcoin. Ooh, probably not owned by US, probably owned by China or something. Hey, let's, okay. Uh, not super decentralized. You got a whole bunch of wealth comprised at the top of some unknown holder. Um, boom. Ethereum, Russia, Russia cutting down US dollar. Cryptocurrencies going to central banks probably doesn't help. Small banks give credit to make production of stuff in local communities will probably not bode well for credit and loaning. In Russia, cutting U.S. dollar holdings in 119 billion wealth fund zero. Liquid assets, of which about a third is held in dollars, will take place within central banks' huge reserves in Russia. Will eliminate the dollar from its oil fund. Don't know these specifics, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> dollar and oil has a, a very tight tie with both international development of economics and the dollar. Wrecked. Reduce vulnerability to Western sanctions just two weeks before President Vladimir Putin holds his first summit meeting with U.S. leader Joe Biden. He's like, yo, you want to meet up? You want to meet up in a couple of weeks, Joe? I do need to just get rid of all your dollar on hand. Joe's going to be too busy taking a nap to make the meeting. The National Wellbeing Fund will shift its dollar holdings into euros. Yuan and gold finance minister Anton Silunov said, oh boy. Dang, dude. Dang, well, dude. That's not good. <clears throat> Dang, dude. That's why you got a bunch of people being like, oh, dude, the, which is uh, apparently a classic cycle. You get a lot of deflationary or inflationary stuff going on into the reserve currency. People going into other assets that they think will help themselves against the inflation. Your Bitcoin, if it's held by another country with bad stake on the U.S., it's not looking That's good. That's true. Everybody dollar, says that, dude. but you know, all these alternatives that people was, uh, people are pulling up nobody's saying anything that's scarce except for property or gold you know nobody is saying Bit, it like bitcoin. ethereum isn't scarce bitcoin cardano isn't scarce bitcoin bitcoin that's why they had the Salvador, only thing that's uh, El salvador news was real because well, it's it's kind of like it's not going to be the one thing that hits the u.s and like ruins the reserve currency but having those little things like those new assets that are popping up with Bitcoin is like probably like five, ten percent of other people going to other reserves. Apparently El Salvador has a weird US history, I'm not sure of, but someone told me it did. And but those little things, semiconductors, COVID, um, this Russia thing, it's just like little things that are kinda popping up every now and then and they're gonna I think it's all leading up to a big event that's gonna yeah. fucking rock our socks off. Could be. Transfer central bank can make these changes to the well-being fund without resorting to market operations, said Sofia Donets, economist, economist at Renaissance. Ca oh, oh, really? Your Renaissance, eh? Renaissance is like one of the biggest hedge funds. That's interesting. Renaissance Capital is head by is it Jim? Who heads you, Renaissance? Anthony. Anthony, I didn't know your name. Um, damn. So they're like, yo, getting rid of the dollar. Euro was popping. China, we got you, bull. At least they have uh, gold in there. Gold, little hard asset. 5% pound. But the euro? Really? Yeah. The euro? Over the dollar? Isn't the well, euro Russia, right though. now? They don't, want, they, don't want, they don't want it. They want to get off the, the dollar. is the euro like way worse than the dollar? I'm not sure if they're doing it for purely economic reasons. I think they they want to get away from the the hold that U.S. has, so they can do what they want to do. Damn! And so that's if they 40%, have, if they have, if, I don't know why. Well, this they don't is have also the just already in the one. This is also just something called the well-being fund. I'm not sure if this is everything of um, that the Russia had Russia has in assets backed in the dollar. Um, but 119 billion 
I don't know. Might might be some significant. 119 billion. Is that a lot? I, I was trying to think. And how much was printed for stimulus? My lean says no. Um, so it's not a lot, actually. 119 billion. Actually, that's not a lot because that's like a lot less than like a big company, like a big, big company. It's like a 20th of Apple. Let me try to grab a number. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's several cryptocurrencies with higher market caps than that. This is Russia. Hi, kitty. Um, You're really cute. So, three trill was made out of thin air recently, I believe. So, out of small, thin air, just printed, but, just printed. Um, just a little, little, like I said, chip by chip, trying to chip away. Russia trying to get away from the dependence on the dollar after years of steadily increasing U.S. restrictions. They're expanding sanctions for us. The dollar is becoming riskier, Deputy Finance Minister Vladimir Kolichev told Bloomberg. Russia can make the change within a month, but it's up to the central bank to determine whether to adjust the distribution of its overall reserve holdings. Silvanov Sil 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 told reporters at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. Uh, this is Business Standard asking for money. Thanks for the article. But, you know, maybe five bucks here and there. Um, yeah, so just little things chipping wow. away. Chipping and chipping and chipping. And, uh, Until boom. Down falls the house of cards. Until so you have to have a, a deleveraging by the United States. Either you do that good or you do that bad. But the deleveraging is what happens next. So say economics. Damn, we got to buy a house when shit hits the fan. When it does, not before. When it does. For when it hits the fan? No, no, not before. When it, when it hits the fan. So Can I buy so a house? The, fan, the fan's going boom, 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 fan, fan, fan. Shit's hitting it. It's time to deleverage. Maybe you do it bad. Maybe you do it good, depending on where you put your, your assets, what kind of bonds you buy, what kind of credit you put out if they're making some good production. Either way, it's not going to be fun price-wise for a while, probably. So that's when you want to get that sick one mil, two mil dollar house, bro. It'll probably be less. But I'm saying as things get scary for people is probably when you want to allocate nice. some dollars. That'll give me a sick one bedroom in L.A. <laughs> Yeah, you can go to Oklahoma. Little Atlanta. Fuck that. They Oklahoma can... will be my second house. Could rent but it out. The main, the main digs has to be somewhere fun. Mm. Not fun, but like fun enough. I mm -mm -mm. like the beach. Beaches are nice. They're uh, refreshing. I want a house in Mexico, but apparently Feeling. you need to be a Mexican citizen that property there. Mm. But there's workarounds. And it's like a hundred years. I saw lease, that one so you don't time. Even own the property. Hmm. It's interesting. Yeah, it's really, it's really weird. But house is there. My boss said he's gonna get like a four bedroom house for like ninety eight grand, hmm. and just rent it out for six hundred dollars a night. He's a citizen or no? Uh, I think he has dual citizenship. That DC. Yeah, he's 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 real big on the properties. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, I'll take some notes from him. Yeah, that's All nice. right, we that's gotta get out of here. My dad's calling me. Thanks for listening, Ricker and Bond.